Hello everyone, it's Ivana here with another unboxing. Okay, so today uh, I have um, the Weaver's uh, pre-order benefit. It was um, in hyphen second uh, Japanese single. So I bought this in K-pop merch. So the um, the Weaver's pre-order benefit came with like the set of photo cards and then also it came with the lenticular. So I will be unboxing this. Uh, this will be like a video, um, like a K-pop collective haul for um, the month of May to July. It depends if it's um, quite too long, then I'll just um, separate the video. But let's just go on to the unboxing right now. So like I decided to buy this since it was like, um, it was an okay price to buy. And um, I was happy enough that I was able to order it. So it's um this one I think if you like buy the cassette of um of the Japanese like um the Japanese single you get like a set of um uh weavers uh pre order benefits and also it comes with the lenticular. So um for this I only bought the um pre order benefits. I'm still contemplating on whether or not I will get the um the Japanese single I'm either contemplating on getting the standard version, the limited B, and also the solo jackets. So this is like a freebie that K-pop merch gave me. So it's Sohun, so I'm super happy with that since he is my main bias in, in hyphen. So this is the um, the pre-order benefit set. So all the members are inside here, and then this is the lenticular. So I wasn't. I was actually shocked about these this lenticular since I wasn't sure about the dimensions of this uh, lenticular. So I thought that like their lenticular were like the normal size photo card. So I thought it was just like a small uh, photo card lenticular, but it was actually uh, massive. So this is the lenticular and this is the back. So just move this to the side and then open um, the reverse version of the photo cards. Okay, so this is the reverse pre-order benefit photo cards. So here we have John, super cute. I'm not sure if their like um their solo jackets are like the photos of this reverse pre-order benefit. I feel like it is. I'm not sure. Maybe the solo jackets are quite close up. So this is Hisang, super cute. And then the like texture of the mat of the back is like a matte finish. So and then the front is like a glossy finish. And then we have J. And then the back. And then Jake. So I was happy enough as I said earlier in order that I was able to get this set. Because I see like um other stores in Shopee, they sell like this um photo card separately so it's actually quite expensive if you like want to get like each member so at least here i i bought this for a reasonable price and then there's sanu super cute but i actually like all the um the concepts that they had for their like um japanese single it was actually quite nice i like the um version sorry the limited b the most but that this is the set um and then i will just see you guys in my next um unboxing so this is the first video for the month of uh, the compilation of the month for may to july but hope you guys uh enjoyed this video and thank you guys for the support that you guys give to me i didn't expect that um i would get um subscribers so thank you guys for the support um, feel free to like my other videos or watch them. Um, bye! Thank you! Hello everyone, it's Ivana here with another um, unboxing. So today I have two packages right now. Um, I will be unboxing TXT's Miniso 2, Thursday's Child. So I bought this from um, K-pop Merch. Uh, I bought this because they had like a video call event that um, if you join like you can have like an exclusive uh, video call event uh, photo card so that's why I joined this um, this event 
So I am happy that uh, PXC did have like a comeback. This comeback that they had it is quite different from the Uminisode one, which was Blue R. And they their concepts were actually quite the opposite for this um comeback, which was uh, quite sh shocking. Because when I saw like that um, TXC will have like a comeback, I thought that uh, since it was since this comeback is Uminisode two, I thought those quite similar or like a continuation of um, from Minnesota 1 but it was actually quite the opposite but even though I do love their comeback I love the concepts that they made which was quite different that you don't like normally see so I'm happy that um, the, they've been actually winning from some of the um, some of the music shows that um, the, uh, that takes the head since the, the comeback. Sorry about that, I'm not down the tripod. But since I did join a video call event, so these are random albums, so I don't know which uh, version I did get. But seeing that this is the like um, cream version, so if I did get the tape version, if, yeah, I think this is the tape version. So correct me if I'm wrong if it's not. But out of these three, um, my probably my favorite would be the mess version. Ever like when I saw that um, of the concept teasers, I was like, oh, I love the concept of the mess version. Even though it was like uh, kind of like a dark um, concept, I did love how um, I, l I loved all the outfits that they were. But I also love the other um, uh, versions of the their album. My second favorite would be the um, the uh, the end version. Yeah, I'll probably just buy the tier versions later on since um, other groups that I do stand are having comebacks, such as like Seventeen, and then um, also the repackage of um, of NCT Dream Beatbox. I was shocked, shocked that um, their comeback was actually quite. It was actually quite soon, but these are the two versions. So I did get the um, eight and the uh, end version. I didn't get my favorite um, uh, version, but it's fine with me. So they're like, um, they're they're like exclusive photo card for the video call event. They actually have like the same, um, kind of like the same concept as the uh, Lucky Draws. That's why I was like, oh, their 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 photos are kind of like the the concept of the Lucky Draws that they that um the other uh, music stores had.
so these are the albums. So here we have the um, Hataya charts thing, and then these are the uh, K the K-pop merch exclusive uh, video call event photo card. So even though I didn't win, I was actually just planning on just getting these um, these exclusive uh, photo card. So let's see who I got. So the first one I got. Look at both you! Oh, so cute here. They do remind me of the lucky draws. I'm not sure if it's like the same outfit, but since they are um, facing the like having a photo on a white background, since I know that their lucky draws are um, facing the white background. And then the second one. Look at Pinky! Okay, so I'm happy I did get one of my biases. So if you don't know, my bias in um, TXC is Yanjin and Hinikai. But also, Bongyu is also my bias for record, so I'm happy with my pulls. I am happy that they did give me um, a different version and also a different um, exclusive uh, video call event photo card since I did message the shop that I did order um, another, al another album from the video call event, so I just asked if they can give me a different version and also the um, exclusive photo card to be different, so I'm happy with that. And then this is the back. It just says the tomorrow by together and also the um, TXT logo. So I love that um, TX, whenever TXT has comebacks, they always have different logos of the um, for the uh, album. So that is quite nice. So I'll just set uh, the um, album aside and then open this um, album first. Okay, so this is the album. This is the front. And then back and then the spine and then this is the version here so um sorry about the glare i know that um you see the my desk lamp but i am actually filming um there early in the morning so bear with me guys if i might not have um energy so let me just take out this album the packaging is quite different from the other um, packages that TXD did, uh, usually has. So this is the front, and then the back, and then the spine. So the, this actually album, it, you can remove the um, the uh, like sleeve, so it does remove. So if you remove it, it is just plain on the front. So let me just remove all the um, inclusions in the back since I know that the like photo cards and stuff are in here. I'm trying to remove everything. Trying not to see my pose though, which it is quite hard. I'll probably just flip it over quickly so I don't see my pose. Okay, so I didn't see anything. Oh no! Right. I didn't see anything. Let me just remove stickers in it. Yeah, okay. So nothing is here in the back, hopefully. Yeah, I didn't forget anything. Okay, so let's go on to the album. Their binding is quite different and their like material for the um, album is like thick. I like that if you're like looking through the album it's just lays kind of flat, which is quite nice. But this is the heat. I do love that it is quite different. Like their all their um their like um their clothes for this comeback. I did see this as I think it was like the music video photo, which is quite cute. Oh there's Subin. And then there's close up of Subin. I like how they're like um how the concepts are kind of connected together because um like the this first version is hate and then there's end and then the third version the third concept is mess so it kind of like um has um like the connection to like um uh, grief so there's different stages of grief 
and when you when a person is kind of like grieving you have like the in denial stage and then you also have the accept acceptance stage and then also like the depression stage so i feel like um if you're looking at it in this um kind of like a psychological um uh, perspective i think like their album is kind of quite connected to uh, that stay in i love his voice for this um kumba I like how they kind of like their um, management kind of changed it up. These are their things to use. This one views and then guys. Stings. And then the credits. I'm sorry if it is quite um fast. I feel like I look through the um the photo book quite quickly. But this is the C D, so it just says the um version's um name on the C D. I feel like their like um overall album for this um comeback it kind of reminds me of like um like a kind of like a book since usually when it comes to books you usually have like this plastic cover to it. But let me just set this to the side and then see the other inclusion. So you do get these stickers and just find the other stickers. It just says um the version names on it and then the logo of the TXT. There's another um, sticker I'm trying to find. It. There's the other sticker. Okay, so I did find it. So this is the other sticker. So you do get the Thursday's Child sticker here. So this is a big sticker. And then you do get the names of the versions. That heat and then this. Their stickers are quite huge. I thought they were quite small. And then also the um, the logo of TXT. And then you also do get this like paper toy. So if you do assemble this, it's kind of like a pop up of I think this um logo. I think so. But I'll probably not sure. I'll probably just assemble it later on in my own time. And then this is the um, lyric. So I do like that the for the lyrics they did, um, they did make it into like a postcard, which is quite cute. So, or lyric or track list, if you call it. So you do have this the teddy bear, and then this is the first track list opening sequence. So I do love the opening sequence. I did see their um, their dance practice of the opening sequence. It is super good movie for that song. And then here we have this telephone. And then they have Good Boy Gone Bad, their track, their title track for this um, album, which I was quite amazed by their performance in like, the music shows and also the music uh, video. I like the quality since it is quite thick. And Trust Fun Baby. So, probably my favorite uh, B sides are this. This trust fund baby and also um uh what was the other one? I forgot the other one. There's Lonely Boy. So I do love that Lonely Boy the melody of the Lonely Boy. It was quite different, but it is a great song. So this one, this is the other um song that I like, the other B side, Thursday's Child Has Gone has far to go. So for the lonely boy, um, I do love the acoustics that they did in the um, song, but it does it says here the um, track list. If you close the envelope, so for this it's just the same um, postcards, and then that's the track list. So let me get um, wait, this is the like, QR code thing that you use. You can get like discounts. So let's go on to the um, postcard first. So for the postcard, I did get... I got so good! Okay. So I did, I am kind of happy that I am getting the members that I don't really get the most because whenever I use the have TXT albums, I normally get um, uh, Yeonjun and Hyunikai and then I also do get Aeon. So at least here, I did get Subin. 
from their last comeback, their repackage for Fight or Escape. I did get a uh, Subin in Bongyu. So I did get two lenticulars. I feel like this was um, by accident since I know that you do only get one lenticular. But for the first one, I got... I got Bongyu! So I'm happy that at least I did get an extra since I can either trade it if ever. And for the other one, I got oh, I got Bombu again. So I did feel like this might be it by accident. And then for the photo card, I got I got so it. Oh, he's so gorgeous in here. I love their like photo cards. I love all their photo cards. So that is it for this this first um. Um, album. I will get the other um, album. Okay, so for the second um, album, so this is the front and then the back and the spine. What I don't really like about this is that the um, adhesive, since it is adhesive, it kind of sticks to your fingers. So that's the only thing that I don't like about it, but everything else it's quite nice so let me just take out everything for this um, album okay. so I didn't see anything which is quite nice and sometimes when I take out the inclusions I kind of have I kind of see was I did get. Okay, so this is the front, and then the back, and then the spine. So as I said earlier, you can remove this plastic if you want, and it, and it just says the um, version right in the back. But for me, I do prefer that they have just like dust jacket since at least it lessens the the album from getting dirt or other stuff. So this is the um, end version. So I do love that um, for the first and second, it, for the first and third concept, they have like quite kind of like the same um, concept since it is quite edgy. So I do love that for this uh, end concept, they did kind of like a, a softer concept. They all look so gorgeous here in the makeup. They made the um they made the members look like they didn't have enough sleep but that they cried too much. Stunning okay. the bathtub. But I feel like this since it isn't like quite minded to the spine, I feel like you can um, easily easily rip it out. I feel like that's why they did it, so at least if you wanted to post the album into the wall, if you have like a favorite photo of the, the member that you like, you can just rip it. I feel like it's much more better if you do have like more versions of this on the album. We have Subin and Jolene Taken. Their hair are actually quite different. Like, um, Jeannie Kai, he used to have platinum blonde hair, and now his hair is black for this comeback. Ronjin was the member who did kind of get like a different um, hairstyle, since he does have like highlights in his present his present time. So, Bongu's hair is also brown. His hair is quite different rather than here in the album, since his hair is platinum blonde for Ronjin. And there's the things to use. This is my second favorite out of the other concepts. And then the credits. And then this is the CD. So it just says the um, album version on the CD. Just set this to the side and then get the other inclusions. So let me just get these stickers. Uh, 
I think the same. So you get this big Thurston's Child, and then also the versions, and the versions, and then also the sixty logos. So this is quite nice that album that usually albums do have that, since you can like um stick it anywhere like the table or the laptop so you could get this also the paper toy and then this is the um, track list so it is the same postcards just the, a different envelope and so let's go on to the postcard so for the postcard I got Bongyu, so we are kind of getting this. We've been in Bongyu for this um, era, which I am okay with it since I do love all the other members of the XT. And then these, you do get the QR thing there for the cash. And then for the particular, I got, I got Yeonju! Yay! Okay, so I'm happy that. I did get one of my biases, so you do get a color and then a black and white. So here, color, and then you do get the black and white. So I do love the link together. And then for the photo card, so for the photo card, I got my guy Yonjo! Okay, so I did get a set, a Yonjo set for the photo card in particular. Gorgeous here. And it says the name and the number. So let me just set this aside. Uh, let me just get the other, um, my other album in the polls and then I will just compile it later on. Okay, so these are all of my polls for this unboxing. It is sad that the only V member that I, I didn't get was um, Taehyun. But hopefully in the other comebacks, Taehyun will go, well, I will get Taehyun in the near future. Um, I'm happy with all the posts that I got since I did get some of my biases and also I did get a lot of Subin and Bongyu since um, I, I don't normally um, uh, get their um, their inclusions for uh, from their other um, eras but that is it for this um, unboxing. Hope you guys did enjoy. I know it is quite late so it's been I think like a month has passed since their comeback but I hope you guys I hope to see you guys in the next unboxing. So that is it for this video. Bye! Hello everyone, it's Ivana here with another unboxing. So this is just um, a continuation from the um, my K-pop haul for me to June. So I have here right now, I will be unboxing 17's uh, fourth studio album, Face the Sun. So I did buy this also in K-pop merch. So this is like one of my go-to shops in um, Shopee. Uh, so this one I did buy it because of the like exclusive um, video call event photo card that you get. I'm not usually like um, see. I don't hope that I will win because usually the winners are those who order multiple albums. But for me, I just ordered one since I am in a like a. Um, I am kind of like a saving money for other things that are most needed and since I did say that I am in a buying hiatus so whenever I do like I would buy only like a few albums or like the albums that are from my um, major bias group so yeah let me just unbox this K-pop merch did change kind of their packaging but I think they still use the same like packaging as the other albums that they package for like the cardboard box it's kind of hard to open so they did kind of tape it shut in the corners So I got this side open, 
So, yung, as I said earlier, I only did buy one album for them. So, yay, I did get the Ray version. So, I asked if I can get the Ray, if ever, Ray or the Path version. So, those two are my favorite ones. And then the second is the, uh, the third. Third out of the other um, versions are the um, Pioneer. So, my first, my top two is the Ray and the Path, and then Pioneer. Is these um, control and the shadow are kind of like almost the same concept so I don't really I'm not really like a fond of darker concepts but the album is in the concepts for the shadow and control are okay since the um the uh, what's it called the photo parts are quite cute so let me just remove this bubble wrap so you do get one exclusive video call event photo card for this one. So this is the Ray version. So this is the front. Wait, I'm not sure if that's the front. I think this is the front. This is the front. And then the back. Yeah, and then the sides, I think. Oh yeah, it does say the version also. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. Let me just there. It does also say 174th Studio Album, Face the Sun, and then it says the version, so it says EP3 Ray. So that is quite nice. I did also like that they have like an indention. I'm not sure if you call it indention, but like it's um the text of the Face the Sun is kind of elevated by a little. So let me just show you the content. So here we also have this, the Hanteo thing charts, and then this is the exclusive uh, video call event photo card. So the member that I got was, oh my god, Vernon, yay! So he is one of my biases, so I am happy with that. So let me just remove it from the, um, the photo card sleeve. So there, gorgeous. I love that it, they are selfies. And it also says the, um, the face the sun in the back and then 17 fourth album and then their logo i do love that for their comeback you do get like a lot of inclusions and one of the inclusions that i do like is the um the highlighter since i am still um studying so i can use the highlighter in the near future if ever i will review it's kind of funny if you were like reviewing while for example, if you do have like face-to-face -face classes, and then you're like reviewing whether in the library or in the classroom, and then you're and then one of your classmates like saw you using the highlighter, and they're like, "Oh, you're a fan of Seventeen, also." So that's kind of funny if you're like you don't know that your classmates is also a fan of Seventeen or um, stands other K-pop groups. So that's something, or like that's something that is fun to know about other people. So. This is the album. So let me just try to. Hopefully, I can remove the sticker. But I'm not sure because I might have a hard time removing it and I don't want to rip it. But I do see other people that they easily can remove the sticker. So it is kind of easy to peel off. You just have to be careful when peeling it. Okay. So let me just get out the. Um, album first, the photo book. Kind of hard to remove. Hopefully, I don't see anything here. I'm scared that the other contents might fall out, but okay. Thankfully, no photo cards kind of came out of this envelope thing. So let me set this aside. Okay, so this is the photo book. So this is the front and then the back. I do love the um, the photos that they use here. I love how the album has like fo photos on the outside. And then you have like a burning man here. Wait, let me just adjust. Okay, so I adjusted the angle a little because I didn't know that the front kind of gets cut off, but here, the Ray version, 
I love all the outfits for um, all their color concepts. We have Hoshi. I don't know, for this, some reason, this concept kind of reminds me of um, 101's, one of their albums. I forgot what version, uh, what like comeback it was, but I do remember that they did have like a desert themed um, concept, and then they also have like a photo within. They have like a background as a tree, so this kind of reminds me of that group before. Although they did um, disband already. We have Joshua. Joshua's hair. I, I was shocked that his hair was longer. I do love that they did curl his hair for this comeback and other, um, in other, in his other like photo shoots also for the album. We have Johan. I do miss his um, blonde hair for some reason. I feel like he he's the kind of person that suits blonde. But for this comeback, it's black again. Yeah, Woji, so cute. I can't believe that Woji is. I think I'm. I think I'm just taller than him by one inch. But he's a member that I do find him cute. Yeah, his scoops. So as I said earlier, I do love that this like album, you do get like a lot of, um, you do get a lot of like inclusions for this album. So you do get like four photo cards, and then you also get like this clear, well, I, I forgot what was it called, but it's that clear thing that has the member specific name on it. And then you also get the, um, besides that, the stickers, and then also the highlighter, which was quite different. We have Minghao. I love his robe. We have Dino. But I love their color scheme for this. It's more of like the orangey brown. We're on neutral colors and then a tinge of like orange and yellow. DK! Uh, Gorgeous. Oh, we have Wanu. Oh, his hair is blonde. I love how they just like um, their outfits give like a kind of a vintage vibe. Also for the um the what was it called the path version. We have Vernon. I didn't know that he was sleeveless actually. For his outfit. This was actually like, like a cool thing for this concept. Brand they have a flower and then it's caught on fire or like a candle, which is quite nice. I am curious if they're if they're like the the candle or like the flower that they're holding is near their face or not. Because if it is near, that is quite hot. I feel like that they took some time for this photo shoot. And then here we have a group shot. And then their things too. I do love that they have like a um, photos of the members. Oh, I didn't know that they have like a photo here also. Oh, it's a continuation. That's so cool. I did not notice that in other like unboxings. So let me get the lyric book first. Okay, so this is the lyric book. So it is actually a compilation of the other versions. So like right here, it is kind of quite cut off, but I'm sorry about that. So here you do have the control and then the shadow and then this version, the ray, and then the path and then also the pioneer one. I probably like the for the um songs the track list I like for the b-sides I like this the dawn I don't know how you pronounce the the second part but I'm not gonna say it because I might say it pronounce it wrong so I do love that one the track three and then I do love March Domino and Shadow and then I think also this track I do love that one and then also the when I first heard Darling I was shocked that they, it was an English song and it was Seventeen's first English song, so I was quite happy about that. I love like the melody and everything, like everything about the song is 
super nice and then hot the title track so for hot it was kind of quite different from their like from darling so i do love that they still have these like their edited um writing on it So that is it for the title track, and then that's the back, it just says the title track. So let me get the other inclusion. Okay, so this is the CD. So the CD is just simple, it just says this, the title, the face, the sun. And then it just says like the logo of the version, and then 17 logo. Let me just put it there. And then let's go on to this one. You do get the clear thing. I forgot what you, what you call it. The pet something. But I did get Wanu, Boji, and um, Minhao. And then let's go on to the um, the polls. So for the postcard, I do love that their postcards are small, so it's easier to like fit it in a four pocket. So the first one. I got my god Minhao! Oh, it's so cute. Gorgeous. And then for the second postcard, I got oh my god, so fun! Oh, stunning. They're all stunning for this. Okay, and then this is the like the reverse thing that you get. Oh, I forgot these stickers. So you do get two types of stickers. So that is the stickers. And then for the um, highlighter. So I got... I know that these are member specific, but I don't know which member it is. It is um, I forgot what was it called. I forgot which member they are cor they correspond to, but it is quite... They do have like some dirt on it, but it's fine. So I did get the pink one and then so for the photo cards so I only did get um three I was trying to find the other one but I think I was missing one photo card and I know that it is it does happen to other albums like the um the pioneer I know the pioneer most people who pre-ordered in reverse they did they did get only three um photo cards instead of four so that is quite sad, but you can't do anything about it. So the first pull that I got for this album, oh my God, DK! Okay, yay! Okay, so DK is my top, my um bias. He's my main bias in Seventeen, DK and Joshua. Okay, so for the second, oh my God, so fun! Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> These photo cards for this um version are quite cute. I'm a fond, I'm kind of fond for of this version. So for the last one, oh my god, scoops, so cute. Okay, so that is it for this um unboxing. I hope you guys did enjoy this um unboxing. I know it is quite short, so I only did unbox one um album for this video, but I will be unboxing as I said earlier um. NCT Dreams uh, beatbox, re the repackaged album, and I will try and buy like the carrot version for the Face the Sun, but I'm, it's not a priority for me right now. So I, since um, like the other hype groups did have comebacks such as like BTS with Proof, and then um, and Hyphen having another comeback, Manifesto. So. Um, I'll probably just um, probably buy the other ones on probably on my spare time when I have enough money to buy it. So it's not a priority to buy the carrot and also the other versions, but I will try and buy it later on. So that is it for this um, unboxing. I'm sorry if it is quite long, so I'll just try and shorten the um, the video. Bye. Thank you. Hello everyone! So you guys already know it, we're here with another unboxing, we boxed the second album. So this is a repackaged album of NCT Dream. 
So this one just came out after the um, glitch mode come back. So here, K-pop Rush had like a video call event as usual. So I just wanted to get the exclusive photo card. I actually like the exclusive photo card for um, this uh, very package album. So I forgot what version this was, but this one's the first one that I know of. The second version is the one with the blue background. I'll say the name later on once I've already um, taken off this bubble wrap. So although this um this album's only had only has one um, photo card, which is sad, but it's still okay since um I love the the guys, the boys, so it's fine with me. Although the um the ditch pack has two photo cards, so they kind of switched it up. But let me just set this aside first. So this is the uh, I forgot the name of the version. Something I think it was something school. But this is the album. This is the front, and then the back, and then the side. I like that um this album. It was actually designed by the members itself. They did like the doodles in the as you can see here in the front and also the back. So they designed um, some parts of this um, album and also the digipack, which is quite nice. So let me just um, put this to side and then let's see um, exclusive video call event um, photo card I got. So this is as usual you get this with, for the um, Hanteo charts. So it's like an authentication card. So this is the exclusive um, the exclusive video call event photo card. So I got oh I got Hei Chan! Yay! So he is um like a my bias wrecker. So for if you guys don't know, my bias in NCT Dream is Mark and Jisung. But also um I do collect Hei Chan also. So let me just set this aside and then let me unbox the album. When their company SM like Entertainment said that there would be a repackage, I didn't know that their repackage would be quite like soon. They said that there was like a repackage when after like a few weeks, um, uh, NCT Dream had like a comeback for glitch mode. But then like after they announced it, after like a few weeks, they already said when the launch of their comeback their repackage album will be. So I was actually quite shocked since it was actually. Um, like a few weeks past their comeback, so I was like, "Wow, their their um, repackaged album is like quite um, uh, quite close to the um, their last comeback." Although I am unboxing this late, but um, well, not too late, but um, it's fine with me since um, sometimes I do uh, group orders, so it's fine. I don't really. Um, like it's fine with me if sometimes I do get the album late. So let me just get all the other inclusions out. Hopefully there's no photo card. Hopefully I got everything. I think so. So let me set aside the other inclusions. So this is the... Wait, there's I think something in here. Is there any more? No, I think I got everything. Okay, so this is the front. Sorry about the glare. I do have the desk lamp on right now. This is the back. And then it says the um, track list here on the bottom. I do like this come. They're actually com their concept for this um, comeback. I like how it's giving us like kind of um, 80s or 70s kind of vibes. I like how it's colorful for their comeback. Well, actually, sometimes you see when Entity Dream has comebacks, it is quite colorful, which is quite nice. Because I do like those kind of concepts, other than sometimes um, other groups having like a darker concept. I like how even though it's like a simple white background, it's not too like... It's just right since like their, their outfits have like a pop of color. It was actually quite funny that um, 
uh, Jeno and um, Chan Lao was the two members only who had ice cream. And then the other members were complaining that how come they were able to like eat ice cream while during the photo shoot. But before their comeback, they they actually had like um, teasers already of the some bits of the songs of Beatbox. Like I saw, um, I saw it whether on TikTok or on Instagram. I actually, do like how they have like this like um, kind of showcases like a story, kind of like Instagram story. I like how they actually try, kind of change their hairstyle a bit. Like Mark, he has um, uh, like a bright blue hair color. And then we have Hee Chan who has like kind of like a highlights of like purple on his hair. They're all stunning. And then we have pearls. I like how sometimes titles have pearl necklaces. I like that this like concept kind of showcases like um like a behind the scenes of how they like composed the um the songs which is quite nice. It's so cute. There's <laughs> like a chat message here. I think it's their um yeah, it's the lyrics to Teddy Bear. So there is um, additional uh, four songs for this repackaged album. So one song is this, the Sorry Heart. So um, actually, Sorry Heart is one of like the um, maybe one of my favorite B sides for this uh, repackaged album. But I do love the beatbox, their title track for this comeback. But also the other uh, additional two songs were actually quite nice. Also, I did like the. Um, on the way and also to May 1st. We have our flip phones. I remember that when flip phones were like the, the cell phones back in the days. And you still had the keyboard. I probably like Jisung's outfit the most. But it, it was weird how come he is the only one who wore the um, the head of the mascot. Look at them throwing chips. I feel like they made a big mess. Oh, the doodles are actually quite cute. And this is the track list. Some of the track list. It's, it was actually shown earlier already. I like how they have like a this far view of the members. And then here we have a group line. And then the CD. I do love their CD though. Oh, it's metallic. I didn't know that it was metallic. It's like a metallic yellow. And I do love how they have like, it looks like stickers, but it was actually printed on the CD, which is quite nice. It says the name Beatbox, and then the second repackaged album. And then these are the credits. So as I said um, earlier, so here we have like a track list here. As I said earlier, uh, Sorry Heart is one of like my favorite B-sides. But also the, um, the... On the way in, and the um, to my first is also a nice uh, B side. So that is it for this um, photo book. So let me just put this to the side.
So here you do get the um, the SM ad here. Customize SM ad as always. And then let's go on to the um, folded poster. I think this is like the lyrics, is it? Or oh no, it's a mini. Wait, is, do you call it mini poster? Not sure. I think not. It's like a unit poster. Not sure if you call it mini poster. But you do get like a folded poster of different units of different members. Density Dream. And then you do also get the um, accordion. So this is all the members. I do love that you do get also a close-up, which is quite nice. The, their doodles are quite cute. I think they, um, I'm not sure if they did the design also here, or if it was only for the DG pack and also some parts of the album. Correct me if I'm wrong. And then you also do get the stickers. So these stickers are actually quite nice. I do love that you did do you do get like um. They're like fish eyes, fish eye stickers. And then let's go on to the photo card. So I will buy the um, the digipack later on. Um, I I'm still um, in a buying buying hiatus. So if ever I do only buy like some albums or or the albums that I prefer to buy first rather than in other groups. So the photo card that I got, look at Jamin! Oh, he's so cute here. I always love how he draws this like um, what do you call it? Like the um, it's like a member specific thing. I I do see that other people have that. Like when before they open an album, they um they have like a photo or like um. Uh, I forgot what it, what you call those things, but they like put it on top of the album, and then they like rub it. So if ever they do get their bias, so this is what I got the photo card, and then this is also the as I showed earlier. This is the exclusive video called event. I do love that their background is the one with for from the second. Um, the second version of the repackaged album. So I got each hand. Yay! So I am happy with my polls. So that is it for this um, uh, unboxing. It is only one um, album. Um, I will see if there will be another um, unboxing after this. But um, there is a, a comeback again for in hyphen. So I am um, thinking if I should uh, pre order their album. But I am happy with their um, NCT Dream um, repackaged album. I'm so happy for the boys. They are doing like a lot. They are quite busy since they also did. Some of the members also had like a um, concert in Japan before. So I know that some of the members of NCT Dream were kind of tired after going back to Korea and then having like um, performance shows and other. Um, in other music um, shows that they usually have but um, that is it for this um, unboxing it is quite short but I hope to see you in my next unboxing bye hello everyone it's Ivana here with another um, unboxing so this video will be um, a k-pop haul from May to August since today it's actually the 23rd of August right now I know I did say in the previous video that it will be like a K-pop haul from May to July or June, but um, seeing that um, two of the um, albums that I pre-ordered uh, kind of came in late, so just disregard what I said in the previous uh, first half of the video. So today I do have three packages, so it's been a while since I've been like unboxing a lot of albums. In one video so I will be unboxing Stray Kids um, Ordinary um, and then also the um, album of 17 the repackaged album Sector 17 and then also 
the latest comeback of an hyphen which is um manifesto day one so let's just um go on to the unboxing let's start with the um stray kids ordinary so let me just set these um two albums aside Okay, so this one I bought it and also in Shopee, but I forgot the name of the shop. But I ordered, um, well, actually, I bought the uh, JY pre, um, pre order benefit, I think that's what you call it. Um, these were the ones that um, J JYP had like a printing error, so um, this was like a set that um, it came with. So. I ordered um, Lino and Changbin, so these are the like JYP pre-order benefit that you get. So let me just take these out. I will just um, put the link in the description box since I forgot the name of the shop. But I got this for like a pretty decent price, so it was fine with me like buying the um, pre-order benefits and also the album separate. I know it's been like a while since they had this comeback because I did say that I was in a buying hiatus so that's why like if whenever I order it's not um I don't order too much albums and because like a lot of the groups that I do buy albums from have been having like comebacks especially groups under hype such as like BTS did have their like um their comeback proof and then also in hyphen having um, their comeback and also 17 so it's kind of overwhelming for me but these two are the um, the pre-order it does have like a kind of like a scratch here I don't know if you guys can see but it's fine with me anyways it would have been better if there weren't like all these scratches but I can't really do anything about it but those are the um, jewelry pre-order and then I also bought um, a BTS, uh, like they call this T Money. So these are like, um, uh, like if you go to Korea or if you you can use this as like a transportation card. So you guys can just reload money in here and then use it anywhere, whether going or riding like a bus or like a train, like a, their subway. So. I did buy it for like a decent price, which is which I'm happy with that. So the, this is actually my first uh, tea money that I bought. But anyways, let me just set these aside and then let's go on to the unboxing. So this is Stray Kids Ordinary. I won't be um, uh, thoroughly unboxing this since it's been a while since they since they had this comeback. But I did love their um, title track, The Maniac. And then I also do love their song Freeze and Charmer. And then Venom is also good. And then this is the spine. So out of um, the three versions, I do like the um, the limited and also the this version. I forgot what version this was. But I do love this the blue version. I don't I think this is I know there's, yeah, I do remember now, there's scanning in, mask off, I don't remember which version is which. But I do love the photo cards of the, um, the one in the red version. I find it quite cute. But straight, their, the album Strike is, does remind me of their... Um, older album since this is like a box type um, kind of album. It's been a while since uh, Strip has had like this kind of album um, packaging. It's kind of quite hard to remove the plastic. I 
thought this one had a name, but luckily I did get my bias. So if you guys don't know, my bias in uh, Stray Kids is um, Bang Chan, Han, uh, Felix, and Jonghyun. But mostly it's uh, Felix and Jonghyun. So those who are like my main biases. But you also do get the poster with it. I didn't know that the poster was folded. I thought that normally the poster would be like outside of the album. I do love their poster. And then this is like the um the lyrics. And then let's go on to the stickers. Hopefully you don't see any of the let me just set aside the photo cards. Okay, let's open this up. So this is the stickers. And then this is the photo book. I already saw actually unboxings of this, but I'll probably probably just uh, look through the photo book on my own time. Okay, so let's go on to the photo cards. Okay, so let's just open this first, the like units. So you do get, so for the Korean press, they are randomized, but for like the US ones, they're not randomized. So I did get the blue and the red version. So let's see what I got. Oh, I got so many and Lino. That's so cute. I know that a lot of people uh, want Soomin's uh, photograph for the red version. And then we have Soomin Jolin. Oh, and then we have Felix and Lino. That's so cute. So the backs of the versions are different from one another, I think. Yeah. Okay, so let's go. Let me just put this inside. But I know that we only get the units if they are like first press albums, which I know that these were first press before I bought it. And then this is the photo card. So I did get for the ID. I got Jungin! Yay! Okay, so I'm happy I am getting my biases. And then for this version, we got. Why not Jungin again? Oh my god, this would be so funny if I did get a Jungin set. But I feel like it's not likely that I would get it since these are quite randomized. And then for the last water card, I got Han! Yay! Okay, so I am getting my biases. I am quite lucky that I do get my biases. Okay, so let me just set this aside and then get the uh, the um, other album, which is Seventeen. Okay. Let me just set it aside. Okay, so now going on to the second package. I did buy this in um, K-pop merch, so it is Seventeen's new package. Sorry, it is 17's free package album, Sector 17. So this one comes with um video call event um PC. So you do get one um member photo card exclusive video call event photo card. So for the last um video call event photo card that um K-pop merch did, I did get for Face of Sun, I did get Vernon as the member. So let's see who I got for this um, album. So I was happy that I did get um, a New Beginning since this one is my one of the versions that I do prefer. But I also do like the other version since the New Heights since um, they kind of pick opposite um, concepts for their uh, repackage since this one is kind of like the summer concept vibe that they um, kind of bring out and then the other one is like winter so I do like that so let me just get the bubble wrap let me just get move this and then this is the album so this is the front and then the back so there's nothing on the spine, so it is a repackaged album. But this one is the Hanseo Charts thing that you scratch, and then so this is the um, video call event um, 
photo card that you do get if you pre-order or if you buy from uh, K-pop merch on the duration that uh, they gave. So let's see who the member I got. So I got, I got Vernon, yay! So I'm happy since he is one of my biases in Seventeen. So I do find this photo card quite cute since he's holding a telephone. So let me just take this out of the um, plastic. So this is what the photo card looks like. Okay. So let me just set this aside and then open the album. So the album is kind of quite difficult to open since um, it's not like what you normally see in albums or in album packaging. But um, I'll probably just open it on one side because it's kind of quite hard to um, to close the album. It is quite actually I do find it quite um interesting that they made this kind of packaging for the their packaged album. I try to open it slowly. Okay, so I'll just open it this way. I won't open this part, but in this case okay. sorry, content is actually literally right there. So we already know which member I did get for the sticker. I was not expecting that because I do see like in most unboxings that their contents are mostly facing down so I, I was kind of shocked that I did see that. So let me just try and move it. Okay. Got everything out and just move the box aside and then also the other inclusions aside and then let's go and unbox the um, oh, the album, the photo book, my bad, sorry. So this is the front of the photo book, and then the back, and this is sector 17. So I do love this version the most, the beginnings. I love that it's kind of like vibrant, and I do love the, um, the overall concept, and their, um, their clothes for this comeback. But it's kind of weird, is it only me, but I do find that they kind of remind me of, um, Hunger Games, the people in the capital, since they do wear vibrant um, colors for their outfits. We have his groups. I love his hair for this comeback. I love that it's kind of like a. I think it's kind of like a pastel pink. More, more on the, the lighter shade. We have Changhan. Kind of miss his blonde hair. I think I kind of got used to his blonde hair. But I do feel like his, his um, hair color does suit him. I just usually like summery or like uh, flower concepts the most. Anything with outdoors, that's the concept I do like the most. We have Joshua, so his hair is quite long since I think it was his hair was actually quite long from um, Face the Sun, yeah. So Joshua and DK is I mean bias in um, in seventeen, but also I do like June and also um, Vernon. But uh, sometimes um, Mingyu and the one who kind of buys wreck me. I don't know. I have like a. It's kind of complicated when it comes to Seventeen because I feel like all the members um, actually do like all the members. For Seventeen, we have, have Foshi. I feel like I love his um, outfit the most. It just gives you like a calming aura, and I always I always like um, like uh, clothes that are knitted or like crocheted. I do love their um, repackaged album. I love all these songs that um, they added in this repackaged album. So World is like one of my favorite uh, tracks in um, in Sector 17. And also I do love all the other um, other songs that they added for this uh, repackaged album. Yeah, Oji. He's just so cute. I find him like, one of the cutest members besides Songwon. We have Minghao. Oh, I love his vest that he has here. We have Mingyu. 
his visuals. Oh, you have DK. I feel like he's like one of the funniest members out of Seventeen. Because whenever I watch like their um, their shows on YouTube, I always find um, me laughing at uh, whatever someone sh uh, someone sh uh, says. Let me bring in. I do know. I like how they don't have all vibrant colors. Like some have pastels, so it's not um, it's not too. Um, right when it comes to this concept, their concepts. So that was the end of the um, photo book for this album. So let me get the lyrics, so this is the lyrics. So here we have the um, New Heights version in the new beginning. So it is quite opposite since one is the like winter concept, one is the summer. So we have World, their title track. I actually did watch their like performances in other um in other music shows that they did. Yeah, also falling for falling flower is actually a good song, and also cheers. I do like cheers. And that's their things too. Some credits. So we get the CD. So this is the CD. It's green. I didn't know what was the color of their CD. The CD, and then let's go. Okay, so this is the I forgot what this was called, but this one it says the right um the right word. Because in the other um versions, it did have three E's instead of two E's. So you do get this in all um, in all albums, and then for the sticker, we also we already saw this stunning. Okay, so let's go on to the um, what do you call this? The is it like a film strip? I'm not sure if it's a film strip or bookmark, but it is quite dented on the bent. I'm oh, sorry, it's bent on these corners, which is quite sad. Since they do, this actually kind of moves around the album. I got all oh, I got is scoops. Stunning. So I'm not sure if I will like buy my other biases for these like bigger inclusions. And then this is the like um reverse thing that you get in the album. Okay, so let's see who my photo card pulls are. So for the first one I got I got Mingi! Yay! Okay. So I am happy since Mingi is one of like my bias records for 17 and then the other one I got Hoshi! <laughs> oh he's so cute here! Oh, I'm gonna keep these photo cards. I might buy more versions of this album since I do like this concept and then I and then I will buy um the new beginnings uh oh, sorry the new heights of concept uh the new heights um album so let me just set this aside and then open the last album for this K-pop haul. So this will be the last um, K-pop haul for this video. So it is from May to August since it actually is quite, I'm not sure if it is quite long since I know I only bought like a few albums since I was in a bind hiatus. So it's actually been a while since um, like I bought anything from um, uh, from like other, uh, other shops in Shopee. Let me just put this all inside. I'm still thinking if I should buy their um, compact version. Since the compact version does have um, the member specific, it's either you get a member specific one or the um, group, like kind of photo book that you get. Okay. Hopefully I can close this. I'm not sure if you close it this way. I think so. Is it the right way? I feel like it's this way. Okay, so let me set this aside and get the other out. 
Okay, so here we do have um, an Hyphen's Manifesto album. So I did buy this. I ordered this um, having the waivers. Comes with the waivers pre ordered. Then that's why I bought this in Alan Julian. So um, I don't normally buy from their like shop, but I think this is my second time pre ordering from them because I know I ordered um, in Hyphen's uh, Dimension Dilemma album from them before also. So it did take a while before I received this because I think I received this like the other day or like two days prior so I just waited until I received this one since this was like one, the last package that I ordered and then I just decided that I'll just unbox it since um, I am done with finals so I haven't been posting recently since I was busy with school also so we just finished um, uh, this week so I at least have some free time before we start at the end of August again for a new school year. So I do, like the school that I study is um, a tri some school, so we are, we don't really have like long breaks when it comes to school. So I am usually quite busy when it comes to um, school related things. But whenever I do have time, I usually just like unbox albums. I probably won't be storing like photo cards anytime sooner since I think I only have like a I don't have like a big amount of photo cards that I have to store. So I might wait until I do get like a big stack of photo cards. Depends. Because I do plan on buying um the what do you call it? I forgot what was it called. The yeah, like you get the member specific um yeah, the carrot version for the uh for seventeen, so I do plan on buying that, but uh probably not anytime soon right now. But probably after when I buy that I probably already accumulated like a lot of photo cards. So as I did say it does come with the reverse pre order benefit, so you do get um two uh photo cards. I think one is like the hollow one and then one is like a normal photo card. So um, I pre-ordered the uh, um, M version for the Weavers um, album. So let me just open this up. So this is the album. So let me just turn this to the back. Okay. Let me just remove the plastic. So uh, for uh, the regular version of the uh, um, album in for in hyphen so there's three versions you get the d j and the m version so the m version stands for me and then the d stands for district and then junction i think for the um j version so this one i this i got a freebie so i did get visa is their freebie and then so this is just like a letter from alin chuyen so this is the name of the shop you guys can check it out in shopee but this is the oh my god I didn't know that <laughs> I didn't think that the pre-order benefits were here but I was kind of shocked about that oh I got Sando for the other one oh that's so cute so I am happy I did get one of my biases so for um uh, in hyphen I do bias Songhoon Jake and Sanu but I also sometimes get bias structural one in um Sanu for the pre-orders, which is too so so cute. Oh, the backs are actually different. I didn't know that. That is the pre-order, and then this one is I think the wallet case thing. I'm not sure. Well, actually, it's not really a wallet. It's like a card holder, but it, at the same time, it can be like a wallet. So I did get this. Order benefit you get. Okay, so I can't take it out, but kind of see what it looks like. So let me just set this aside. Okay, so this is the album. So this is the front and the back, and then the spine. It says the M version there in the spine also. So uh, I do like the um, the. D and the J version the most. I do love their like outfits for this um, version. I was supposed to either pre-order the D or the M version, uh, the D, sorry, the D or the J version, but they didn't have it in stock. 
and I was pre-ordering it but now I know that they do have I think stock for it so I might buy the other two versions later on Uh, hopefully, I don't see any of the contents. Hopefully, because oops, I kind of see some here there. So, let me just try and open, take out the photo book this way so I don't see anything. Okay. Let me set this to the side. So, this is the photo book. So, it's manifested day one, and that's the back. Oh, I do love that. It's kind of like a velvety matte texture of their um, photo book. Well, actually, it's actually the same material that they did for the outer box of the album. Right here, this is the photo book. Actually, quite, uh, quite found it quite cute that they did kind of this like uh, yearbook thing effect there. But I love um, uh, Jake's hair for this comeback, so it's kind of like a grayish violet color. And Sanu having like a vibrant um, orangey yellow hairstyle. I don't know, I feel like this concept is kind of quite different than the other two um, versions because it's kind of um, centered on the members, but also you do get like these random people in the background, which is quite different. And I don't know, I don't know what's the main concept for this photo book. I love the overall outfits for this um this uh, version of the album. So for these songs, I like I probably like um the Paradox Invasion. That's like probably the most um one of my favorite title, uh, one of my favorite B sides. I probably prefer that one rather than the um their title track, which is the Pass the Mic. Well, the Pass the Mic is a, actually a good song, but I just prefer the um, Paradox Invasion more. But the other songs for this comeback is, is quite nice. I do love all the songs for this album. With Nikki, I feel like Nikki's grown, like, really, really grown, other than his previous um, comebacks. He used to be like the baby of the group and then now he's like almost like I think he's either one of the tallest members or or almost one of the tallest members. We have Jay. But I feel like this concept kind of showcases like who the members are. Since it is quite simple, but also I feel like this concept gives like a deeper meaning than what they show. I like that even though it is actually only a white background for their photo show, I feel like it kind of goes within their um, their concept because their like, clothes show like a pop of color, so that's actually quite nice. And then these are their things too. Oh, I do love that Jake is actually, I didn't know that Jake's the things too was actually English. You see, so he sometimes does um, that's the credits. He sometimes says um, Hangul as the, uh, his things too. So this is incredible. So let's see. Let me just get the lyrics first. Well, actually, no, the poster. I'll just open the poster first. So the poster is inside of the um, album. So this is the poster slash uh, lyrics. Well, actually, you call it like a lyrics poster at the same time. So I do love the um, shout out, the Paradox Invasion. Pass the mic is also like a nice song. But this is what the poster looks like. So it is like a portrait poster. And we have Jay here. So that is for the poster and the, the lyrics. So I do love that it is like a glossy finish to it. And then let's see the CD. So for the CD, you do get like an orangey green color. And then this is the CD. 
So this is what the outer box looks like. So it does says the version inside. So that's what the M stands for, the new version. So let's go on to this one. I think this this is like a tattoo, I think. Yeah, it's a, like a tattoo, not a sticker. So you do get tattoos for this. Um, album. And then let's go on to the postcard. So for the postcard. Oh, the postcard is quite authentic. Just quite sad. But for the postcard, I did get... I got Hisa! Wow. So it's quite sad that it's Denton. But we can't do anything about it. And then they also do include a pin for this, for each album. So here, this is the pin that you get. Which is quite cute. And then this is the reverse thing that you get for the album. And then let's go on to the photo cards. Let's see, oh my god. So this, well, before the photo cards, this is like a scratch thing that you get. So it's member specific, but I might not scratch it right now. So I'll just open it. I'll just scratch it on a different day. Okay, so for the photo cards, you do get um, one, like, kind of like a concept photo, and you do get, like, one selfie photo. So let's see who I got. Oh, I got Heesung! But it's actually quite sad since it is quite damaged. As you can see, the pin kind of damaged the photo card. And then for um, this one, the last photo card I got, I got Sanu! Oh, he's so cute here! Well, I think fully this one isn't damaged, which is, I'm happy with that. But it is quite sad that Heesung had the most damage here. But that is it for this um, unboxing. But thank you guys for watching. Um, and then after this video, I will probably have like a story in photo cards if I do accumulate like a lot. Unless I will have like a K another K pop haul, depending. Um, it also depends on my money, of course. But hope you guys did enjoy this un unboxing. Sorry if I am quite late in unboxing some of the albums, but thank you, thank you for the support, and I hope you guys enjoy. Bye!